we're gonna do is we may as well like uh, take this time like if you guys want to hang out and ask questions uh, oh, yeah. um you know, know what maybe kind of like okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna do like uh you know 20 minutes just you know if you guys have some questions about right, oh yeah you stuff. go for it and then uh and then after that like if you guys want to come back and hang out at the table you can hang out mm -hmm. with us over there you know appreciate um, it yeah. yeah for sure so uh, all right we'll let you start go ahead uh it's for both of you both of you we are what do you all think of the, of the uh, recent power ranger movie that came out yeah did you see it yeah. i just noticed uh i did not um i went to north carolina and signed autographs in a big 16 cineplex and i kind of thought why am i doing this because I'm not really in the movie with what they did to my character, but my agent convinced me we'll, we'll, we'll do real well, and we did. It was unreal. Yeah. But uh, no, I didn't get a chance to actually see it, and now I see it's on uh, HBO On Demand. DVD. Oh. And, yeah. and, and all that, so I'll, yeah, I'll be catching it. I heard it's pretty, pretty yeah. good. Yeah, the, uh, they, they, they think they might gonna bring Lord Zed for the next one. Nice. You yeah. Know. Yeah, I liked it pretty good. They could have started the action a little bit sooner, yeah. but yeah, I think that's pretty good. What do y'all thought of Amy Jo and JDF's appearance at, at the very yeah. end? That's funny. Yeah, yeah it's very Sweet. clever. Got to bring a couple of cameos in for old school fans. Yeah. If you could have uh, picked anything besides being the blue uh, Zio, would you want? Was there another color you wanted, or if blue was, or you wanted to go back to red? No, I would rather go back to red. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Or green. On the cameo that you mentioned, you yeah, had a cameo yeah, yeah. back on the movie. Um, I mean, did they offer you a time to come back? No, they did not. Oh, you know, no. and in fact, um, when I spoke to Lionsgate, and they said, "Oh, we're not going to have any cameos at all." And then hmm. I don't know. They must have changed their mind. They picked J Jason and Amy instead of um, you guys. Yeah, uh, anyone, anyone, everyone else, I guess. Yeah. Barbara uh, uh, got in touch with them too, and. Thought it would be tremendously humorous, I guess, if she was in an argument with me in a back alley as a couple of bums. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I guess they didn't bite on that. We well, didn't go there in the back, back alley arguing. Well, there, you know, there was a, a, another script uh, from a year prior that is out there on the internet. I don't know if you're aware of it. So they changed it probably? They changed, they they rewrote it completely. I actually was in the original, oh. the first script that was was nixed, but. Um, Interesting. Yeah, we did, yeah. we actually at a, at a con, we, we had uh, fans come up uh, at a panel and we read from that script oh, with fans cool. reading. The other nice. Was it like a one page script or a half page no, full, script? No, full script. Oh, nice. full, full script? Full, full script. Full 120, wow. 24 page screenplay. Wow. Um, but they nixed it. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I, I was in that one. I think I'm paying for my sins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Because, you know, they could have still used it and put you in deleted scenes or something, you know? Yeah, well, you know, they, 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 and it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, they have they have six planned and uh, yeah who knows who knows what's going to happen. But. I do have a question for you, Karen. Yeah, um, if you could have been in Goldar suit, would you have? No, no, no. Oh. No, my God, they were shooting at a hundred degrees. Oh, um, yeah, it's very and, and hot. And, and that, that was all stunt. That's stunt stuff. Again. I mean, yeah. the that's stunt not. Guys are dead. And most of the footage was already what you guys got from 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 the, the, from the, the, the Japan of version. Already mm -hmm. Japanese footage, and right. some of the stuff you guys shot with, without the suits probably shot with the yeah they tried to the marry they married they married so shots yeah. yeah you know the zoo ranger yeah, yeah. did y'all thought that, was, that this show was originally in Japan when you guys started it this whole thing yeah we were familiar with it yeah mm -hmm. you ever watched some of their episodes they showed us some of the episodes when we first when I first got hired they showed us some of and the, do you think it, it was different it they was did it a little bit different yeah. than the it way it was they, different and at that time I wasn't really that interested in watching it because it was all in Japanese and I didn't understand it and I was like mm -hmm. eh, okay all right I get the yeah. idea this used to be a Japanese show and now they're making it into an American show that's with no no surprise, English surprise. no English subtitles on, there on was the no English subtitles on the videos they back, showed us back mm -hmm. in the day you had yeah, questions back in the days yes, actually in regards back to the movie would you have wanted to go back as a cameo? I mean, no, I, I, I told I wanted them to. I asked yeah? them. I was oh, the one who okay, reached so out to Lionsgate and said, I want to be in a cameo. And they said, we're not doing any cameos. Hmm. And so they lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's just Wood. messed up, bro. Yeah, yeah that doesn't sound like Hollywood at all. Oh, yeah. How oh, weird. <laughs> that never happens. Did you guys enjoy uh, filming and doing all that stuff? Uh, all right, for uh, me, it was, it was clearly the best time 
of my life yeah. through that period. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it too, you know. Um, they definitely worked us a lot though, you know. Yeah. Um, and we had to do a lot of extra work for free, you know. Um, that we did not get paid for, like all the voiceover stuff. We they filmed they, for like 12 hours, and then we'd have to go into the recording booth and do a bunch of voiceover stuff. When you guys were in the, in, the, in the Zors, in the suits sometimes, or was that was that during the original? So yeah, so any, because any because, of that because stuff, some of that stuff in the Zors with, from yeah. Japan, so you got to do the voiceover. We got to do the voiceover for that, and we didn't get we didn't get paid for that. Um, so we ended up working a lot. We were working a lot of hours a day. Sometimes we'd have to work like you know, mm. so we'd do like a ten or like a ten or eleven hour day, and then we'd have to go and do a couple hours of audio after that. Them. Yeah. yeah, the Rangers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Rangers. Not, 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 not the voiceovers. We, yeah. we came in and knocked it out. I, I never spent any more than 45 minutes yeah. recording Goldar. And, uh, and that, that was actually a rule for me. That's as long as I could sustain and he, the voice. And we only have yellow M&Ms in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have Avion water on, on, on Don't get me started on the Starbucks, okay? Oh, my. Uh, forget that one. Yeah. Um, how was shooting the, the first movie? The, 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 oh, the original. first movie yeah, yeah. was great. No, the first movie was a lot of fun. You know, the day I got hired on Power Rangers, they were like, okay, congratulations, you're going to be the new new Red Ranger. Um, and you and, were up against how many? That's kind of a Well, there was, I don't know. I mean, in Texas alone, there was probably like four to 5,000 people at the audition. In, 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 and in how Texas. many auditions did, did you go through to get the part? Uh, I had three, I had three, two, I had two callbacks. So... I had one audition and two callbacks, and I got the part. Wow. Yeah, so, um, uh, what, was I, what was I saying, though? Yeah, they said, oh, so congratulations, new, new Red Ranger. Um, we're going to film um, the TV show for about 90 days, and then we're going to shut production down and send you to Australia to do a movie. So they told me all that in the same sentence. They said, not only are you the new Red Ranger, but we're also going to make a movie that's coming and out. And on that one, there was no voiceovers for the, uh, for the Zors, because you guys were actually... In the, in the actual no, they, we, we st all that stuff still had to be voiceover because yeah. it, even with the helmets on our face, you can't see our mouths move and there don't have speakers all. inside okay. there. So we yeah. we still had to go in and voice over that. So I mean, it kind of it kind of does make sense. It's and called that, ADR, yeah, okay. automated dialogue replacement. Oh. It does make sense. In the movie, uh, when you guys were fighting the Z uh, uh, Ivan Uzis creatures. Were you guys in the suit fighting them? Were you guys in the suits fighting them? We did a lot of stuff with for the movie in the suits because, um, I mean, they had stunt guys do a lot of stuff too. Okay. But um, there was a lot of stuff that we had to do where we actually wore the suits because especially if you saw things where, like, we're wearing the suit and then the suit was disappearing because we were losing our power. Yeah. I mean, we had to have the whole full suit on and they had to match that, you know, so we'd have to, like, Great you know, effects wear the suit then. and we'd be holding like this and then... Mm -hmm. We'd have to freeze, and then we'd have to come back into that exact position in regular oh. clothes and wow. make it look like our, you know. So you yeah. had video assist to go back and check. Mm -hmm. and yeah. See, look. But that was pretty good effects back then, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. Was that the same thing when you guys were wearing the ninja outfits yeah, and shooting the jungle? Did, did you all do the your... Ninja stuff, we did a lot of that stuff ourselves. And most of the other stuff was, was the sun doubles... Yeah, well, the so yeah, the stunt doubles did. Sometimes they did all the stuff for like, say, like you know, Amy or Karen or whatever. Um, you know, they they weren't like martial artists, so um, you know, they, like Jason and yeah, Johnny, like me and Johnny and and, and, and Jason. Um, what about David Yost? Uh, David Yost was a gymnast. He was oh. not a martial artist, oh. but I mean, you know, he learned enough for the show to oh. make it look really good. But um, yeah, I mean, he was not like formally trained full time or anything. I kept all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Mm. Nice. The morpher? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I have yeah, all know that one. I have a whole, whole bunch of gold coins that were used, that were mold, cast molded from the. Uh, what about the helmet? You keep the, have, my helmet is sitting on the table. Right? No, from the from the movie, from the movie. Oh, the movie. No, we didn't get to keep those ones. No. That was a nice helmet, though. The one you had, like that X-ray thing or something. Yeah, the little visor. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you wear it though? Like when you were walking? Was that you walking when you were wearing it? Yeah, sometimes it was us and sometimes the stunt guys. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, yeah. Actually, you know, uh, you enough. said you were. Uh, I do. When you first started about the show, oh, you know, they showed you the desire. Not Power Rangers. Um, did you ever think that you know the American version of Power Rangers was going to get this far in? You know, a whole second movie. Uh, the way it's still going. Yeah, I, I, I never thought that Power Rangers would last this long, you know, as a TV show, you know? Yeah. Um, 
and that they would keep it alive, you know? I thought maybe in, over time they would do a reboot, you know, because they always do reboots of movies, you know? Mm -hmm. So I figured that would probably happen again, even if Power Rangers wasn't still on the air. But I never thought that they would still be showing that show. Yeah, yeah so. different types of And passing it down to future generations, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got something for Kerrigan. But it probably um, would suck it. How many there. generations did you do? Uh, three. Three. Three seasons, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we, we went at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. How did, how did you do the recording on when I saw your YouTube videos of Goldar for President? Yeah. Uh, how did you still like sound like him, but then you were right next to him? Like it looks so challenging. No, it's just editing. No, it's actually a combination, obviously, of certainly of editing. Okay. Uh, but to explain to you how I do those Goldar and me's, uh, he's in a suit. Okay. My 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 Daniel, who wears the suit, mm -hmm. and um, he doesn't say anything on yeah, set. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. You know, he just moves and goes through the paces. Great suit, by the way. It's a great suit. Yeah, it's for sale. Oh. <laughs> you can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we'll see. <laughs> um, and then somebody uh, off stage or my, no, not me, because I was always acting. We had somebody reading his lines off stage while he moved to, while the, he moved to the line so uh -huh. he could, you know, so he could hear. Yeah. And then I am acting to him hearing, not, you know, listening, but yeah. not obviously looking over at the person yeah. that's reading. It, to be honest with you, the Gold Armies were, were a challenge. They were kind of a bit of a pain in the butt. But, but great, I, great I did have fun with them. Great um, job, then. Go back in and voice over a Gold Army. Yeah, yeah. Then I, and then I go in and do, do Gold Army. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and then my buddy who shot it uh, edits it. And, you know, I struggle to match myself. And, and it's also bloody tedious and trying to remember my lines. And there was one, I just, because we're here, um, the, the, the one where I did, uh, uh, where I did Richard II, mm -hmm. and I played yeah. the, 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 you know, the, the, the guy he's auditioning yeah. for. That, that one was really challenging. Oh, wow. And, uh, but I knew... I knew that speech like the bot, but I knew it. Yeah. I didn't have to remember. I know Richard too. I could whip through it right awesome. now like at speed. So that was no problem, but it was a lot of work. Yes. Meaning I'm up there with him, and 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 uh, then I've got to go change my costume in the in the in the boys' room at the high school into the into the uh, into the director who's auditioning them, and so it took. It was a four-hour shoot. I'm exhausted, and we're going back to my house to do the other the other one. No, no, now I, we're doing two in a okay. day. Oh, wow. So I'm going back, and I think it's the one where uh, <clears throat> we're, we're going to call Hiam, and why can't we be, you know, and I'm back and forth with him, and I just cannot keep my line straight. Uh -huh. So I, you know, and, and yeah. everybody's just trying to help me through it. And I'm like, cut, <laughs> cut. Someone had a green truck motor. So the outtakes on that one would, yeah. got, would, would be. Great videos, though. I really enjoyed, like, it was so great to watch, you know. Well, they were fun to do. Yeah. I, you know, they, I mean, you know, they, I didn't make any money on those. We just, know, did, yeah. in fact, they cost me money, but. But I do want to tell you, like, I mean, just seeing, it's just showing that Goldar's still out there. He's still somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> now he was, like, running for president, which is great. That was great. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Any anybody else that came and sat down got questions? Oh. Like that haven't oh. had a chance to ask a question yet? No. No. Okay. Cool. Go ahead. I was ask gonna, uh, Mark. Huh? I was going to ask you about uh, how was it doing the uh, Robotech? That was the beginning of my career. Wow. Really? Damn. I mean, I mean, I'd done some on-camera acting and and was doing plays around Los Angeles and um, that just. That just came out of, out of the blue. That was a very strange gig, the way I got it. My girlfriend at the time, <clears throat> she uh, was working a little place called Pasta Etc., which was a very high-end takeout pasta place on Sunset Plaza, which is, you know, very ritzy. And uh, What was the place called again? Uh, Pasta Etc. Oh, that's Pasta Etc., right, right up the street from La Dome. And, and, and uh, so she tells me when she gets home, and she, they say it open late. That, well, that was what one of their gigs was. They closed like at midnight. She says, this guy came in and said, I, and she was a blues singer, so she does, did have this very uh, whiskey, cool voice. 
and, and he said, you know, I have this great voice and they're recording just down the street and I should come in and, and audition. I said, what, they're recording down the street at midnight? Come on, Wanda, he was hitting on you. Well, they were recording down the street and we did go in and <clears throat> meet Greg Snagoff and uh, they were so inundated with so much anime and Robotech, they couldn't keep up with Robotech, let alone another ton of, of live action dubbing and anime. And three studios basically were running 24-7. I, I walked out of Intersound many a morning having recorded all night, and I'm walking out to the sun coming up, not even knowing what projects I'm doing, just right. going, they need you in Studio B. Right. And what am I doing? You're, you're, we're doing Around the World in 80 Days. You're playing a blah, blah, uh, a, a carpetbagger, and, 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 and those are your lines. Go. <laughs> so, you know, um, that's, how, uh, that's how I wound up with Robotech. I mean, I, I caught on to this very quickly, and, uh, and Wanda did not, but she did wind up uh, getting guest roles and this, that. I mean, she did her fair share of dubbing, but... You know, all of a sudden, I'm I'm like going, wow, I, I'm I'm loving this. And then the the second season of of Matt Cross or whatever it was in Robotech, uh, they hired me as Private Sean Phillips. And you know, I was like, boy, this is this is great. Matt, <laughs> I uh, never turned back. Matt nice. Cross was the first one. The uh, second one was uh, Next Generation, and the next one was uh, Robotech. I think Robotech Masters. I can always Masters. count on the fans to tell me. Yeah, what, what, what they <laughs> I, mean, I should know because... Oh, yeah. yeah. Count yeah. on this I, one. He I, knows everything. Yeah, because I had the entire series, all three seasons, plus the two movies that came with it at home. Yeah. That's a box set. Like yeah. 50 nice. or 60 bucks on Amazon. Nice. Well, Robotech really was a, a life changer for me. Mm -hmm. I was a floundering actor at 28 years old really not knowing what my next move was. Do I do another play or, you know, you know, you're constantly badgering your agent, you know, you know.